I believe it's you're different. doing a very good tasting. It's a, it's of a what heavier, it's, it's a wheat bread. Yeah, yeah, it's a taste. Yeah, it's it's very yes. It is. Oh, good. Now, what is it? What is it? So uh, wheat flour, it is. a little bit of rye flour, a yeast that the French called Livion. You would know it as sour dough starter. Uh, and uh, salt and water. It's a very, ba it's very, very basic. Well, hello and welcome back inside the labyrinth. Uh, Tiffany here. We're at Fort Ligonier Days. Um, pretty much freezing our butts off, but still having a lot of fun. And right now I'm turning the camera on to Ed Tutino. Now, what exactly do you do within Company LaBeouf and reenacting in general? Well, I am here today demonstrating the use of the field ovens at Fort uh, Ligonier. Uh -huh. And the field ovens were utilized for baking bread for the soldiers here. Yes. Uh, most uh, forts or garrisons would have a field oven mm -hmm. uh, of some sort that they could uh, bake bread. Uh, bread was the bulk of the soldiers' diet. Mm -hmm. uh, some 75 to 80 percent of their calories are being taken in from uh, bread. In a bread such as this, which is a uh, whole wheat uh, bread with a little bit of rye flour yeah. in it, a very dense bread, and uh, mm -hmm. a bread that uh, will serve the purpose of uh, fill, fulfilling their diet. Yes, um, there you go. The oven behind me, uh, if you can see them there. I got uh, a little we're, shot of we're it. We're reheating that oven so that we can actually bake our dinner here tonight. Yes. Uh, that oven earlier this morning was actually heated. Mass, uh, once the mass was thoroughly heated, we pulled the, the coals and uh, mm -hmm. any ash out of the oven, mopped the floor, and began our baking of mm -hmm. our bread. Uh, our bread was also ma made this morning. Oh, lovely. Uh, uh, it's uh, mixed, hand mixed and kneaded, mm -hmm. uh, shaped into loaves, allowed to rise and then uh, bake. Well, there you go. So how did you get into this? Like, what was it that interested you? Well, uh, mm -hmm. it's just an odd growth of feeding a family. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, my wife Judith and I have mm -hmm. uh, three daughters that were raised yes. doing this. They were, uh, well, our twins were in diapers uh, at their first event. Uh. Um, <laughs> and that was some uh, almost 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, we, it started actually with just feeding them mm -hmm. and feeding, uh, you know, a lot of modern foods. Yeah. Uh, or baked or cooked over the open fire mm -hmm. in cast iron kettles and things. Yeah. Uh, through work uh, that I do with the Depreciation Lands Museum. Yes. Uh, right before the, the year 2000 there, we had done some research on mm -hmm. uh, building a bake oven there. Okay. And uh, I did a lot of the research and... Mm -hmm how to use it as well as how to build one mm -hmm. uh, was instrumental in getting that oven built and have been using that oven there since then right uh, several mm -hmm. years ago i it, uh, reached out here to fort ligonier to mm -hmm. see about utilizing their ovens mm -hmm. and demonstrating them uh, they gladly accepted my uh invitation and, yeah uh, i've been up here running and utilizing their oven since then yeah. uh, their, really, their ovens are built uh, of clay, straw, and sand, mm -hmm. uh, very much the way they would have been in the uh, 18th century as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, wooden doors on them, so uh, they uh, can utilize, you know, uh, maintain mm -hmm. heat in the oven after yeah. you pulled the fire out of them. Very so cool. So don't put the wood doors <laughs> on the oven yeah. while, while there's Not a fire good. in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, so well, you obviously work very very tirelessly at this and um <laughs> what would you say because uh, i know a lot of your rest the the stuff that you make comes from original receipts yes what would you say is your favorite um your favorite dish your favorite uh food item that you've ever that you've made so far favorite uh well i make these wonderful little uh apple tarts mm -hmm. um, it's actually comes from a uh, 17th century uh, mm -hmm. french uh, receipt book yeah um, and it's actually the 
a tort of pairs. Mm -hmm. uh, what's so interesting about it is it, it describes the how to mm -hmm. make the dish of tort of pears. Mm -hmm. Three receipts later, there's a, a line that says, you make apple tort the same as a pear. Okay. So obviously, <laughs> apples were not mm -hmm. necessarily uh, a favorite amongst the French in oh, the 17th okay. century. Interesting. Uh, pears were probably or seemed to be obviously more popular, more favorable. Uh, yeah. But uh, it, it's an apple tart that uh, it's described of apples being seethed and mm -hmm. then pl placed and bound into a crust. And I do it totally free mm -hmm. uh, form. There's no pan, no sheet, uh, anything. Yeah. Uh, do it right on the oven floor. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, Nice. I've been doing them for like 15 mm -hmm. years, and yeah. now I, I see them in every cookbook, <laughs> every creation of them. Right. <laughs> well, there you go. So, well, so. look like you have some people here, so yeah. I'll just ask you one more thing. Sure. So, is there what event will you be doing next, where Actually, people can find I'm, you? I'm uh, off until next spring. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I, although I will be at the museum doing guided tours for the lantern <laughs> tours, but I won't. That's uh, that's. No baking involved there. So. Of course. Okay. Well, cool. Well, thank you very much. Yes, All welcome. right. Yep. And uh, this is Tiffany, and we're at Fort Ligonier Days, and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, shortbread. Okay, that's great. Yes. Yeah, well, in <laughs> French, the word for small cake, for small cake is la petite gâteau. It ends up, it gets corrupted in English to petticoat now. So if you've ever had traditional uh, Scottish shortbread cookies, they're cut in a triangular fashion, in triangular shapes. Did you ever wonder why they're cut in a triangular shape? Petticoat tails. <laughs> Petticoat tails in the 17th century, yeah, 17th century, uh, 15th, 16th and 17th century are cut of triangular shaped pieces of fabric and drawn, sewn into the dresses that way. So that's why there. La petite gâteau, gâteau gets corrupted into petticoat towels. <laughs> and that's why shortbread cookies are shaped in triangle.